Why Xenia? Because I live in Xenia. And two, because I have a heart for Xenia and I want to serve people and I want to create a place that people can experience community and bring people together. I mean, if you'd love to help Coffee Hub, you can, by all means, come volunteer. But the greatest help would be to buy coffee and baked goods without question, because if we, obviously, to stay here and be a part, we need to be successful. I'm excited that um, individuals who attend Toward Independence's programs will have an opportunity to be a part of Coffee Hub, because I think it's important that they're integrated into society, that people see people with the disabilities as regular people. We're the same people. I feel like God gave me this business and whatever he wants it to look like, I'm open to that. What better combination than coffee bringing people together to experience community and some of the great things about Xenia. Hello? Hello? I like, kind of like the nerdy kind of stuff. I'm not like your typical waltz around type of guy. I work um, at a place called Grace Home Healthcare and even though I may not be like looking like the top-notch dude that heavy weight lifting or any of that I I do do most of the heavy lifting there but I do have like delayed it's where my mind is going so fast it's trying my body is trying to keep up with my mind the doctors couldn't figure out what was going on at first and then they found out that I have baby chicken syndrome I was pushed down the stairs I was kicked down the stairs like I have been abused, neglected and a bunch of other things and um and I turned out to be a peaceful guy. Even after not knowing who my real father is or where my biological mother or siblings are, it's not that don't forget about him. It's forgiven, but don't forget. Your story is your testimony. I got adopted when I was on my on my birthday and it's National Adoption Day. It was a real special thing for me in life and everything that I do I keep positive attitude. I have a little plaque that says it's not the number of breaths we take but by the moments that take our breath away meaning that enjoy life.
Our direct support professionals are heroes. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged us all for the past nine months. We've had to make sacrifices and literally change the way we live. The foundation or cornerstone of our service delivery system has always been our direct support professionals. During this COVID-19 crisis, these heroes continue to show up and support the most vulnerable citizens in Ohio. Not for the love of the job, but for the love of the individuals they serve. They are placing their lives, their families' lives at risk to protect the health and the safety of the individuals we serve. Make no mistakes, they are human. They are tired, they are weak, and as Governor DeWine said, our healthcare workers are worn out. We need more people to join this shrinking workforce before the final cornerstone crumbles. We need to ask each of us, what are we doing to support our DSPs to make a positive change in the service delivery system? We need more community awareness of the jobs that are available in the areas that you live in. How are you promoting the field? What have you done to encourage others to interview for a DSP position, which will hopefully provide some relief? It's time, long overdue, to recognize the efforts of our DSPs. It's time to support them financially for their efforts. Direct support professionals are putting everything they have on the table to ensure the health and the safety of others. It's time we do the same. How are you going to help? Hi, my name is Ben, and I have lived here at Walford for three years. I am just an average guy. I work, I go out with friends, etc. I understand when someone walks through my house, this could be overwhelming because of the equipment and the level of care that Ian and I require. But you won't even see it anymore once you get to know me. I went to the Career Center for Allied Health and I was going to do nursing. Um, once I graduated, I didn't end up going to college. I ended up starting working in factories, third shift jobs, things like that. So I was walking down the street one day and saw Tour Independence here and I decided just to come inside and apply. But when I first got here and got to my observation, I was scared to death. Like, I'm like, I don't think I can do this. But it's another one of those things where I pushed myself out of my comfort zone and I did and I love it. I just love seeing them happy. Every day is just a great day. When those girls get off the bus and they see me, they're so excited. I mean, hug me like I'm a celebrity. So it makes you feel good every day, and I feel good to see them every day. We saw the Nutcracker. We've done Kings Island. We go all types of places. There's so many places I can't even name them all, honestly. Every single day you're changing somebody's life. 
So to come and do that every day is just a great feeling. I just think this is a great company. I mean, we help so many people and change so many lives. Just because somebody looks different, talks different, walks different, doesn't mean they're different than you. We're all human and we all need help and care for ourselves. Um, for sure, this job will change your life. It changes the way you think, changes the way you treat other people, and it's just an amazing opportunity. I'm a much more happier person than I used to be, I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah.